What's up guys? guys and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Olivia and I'm Robbie and we're Olive and Rob. And we're so excited to have you guys here today for another video. We're gonna be doing asking my husband juicy questions that girls are too afraid to ask. I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some questions and you guys sent some pretty juicy ones. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm really <laughs> excited. I think this is gonna be really good. I'm so curious to see like how you're gonna answer. We're gonna grill Robbie today. But before you do that, Please make sure you guys like this video and actually please like it because it actually helps us a lot on YouTube with the algorithm and getting discovered by new people and things like that. Please hit the subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. And then also hit the notification bell so you know when we post and follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat. All whatever things, you want whatever yeah but actually if you guys ever want to be involved in our future videos we usually ask questions on our Instagram so if you guys want to follow us on there maybe you can be involved in our next video also remember if you guys want a shout out in our video use the hashtag team Olive and Rob when you comment so that you can get shouted out at the end of the videos and watch till the end to see if you are shouted out in this video yeah we want to see you get featured because we want to just say thanks stop that Before we start, oh dear, I want to address something really quick. I don't know if you guys see this giant cold oh. sore on my lip, okay? I got this cold sore after I freaking did the lip filler prank and it's huge <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's from me gluing my lip up. It hurts so bad. So guys, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch it so that way me gluing my lip was worth it because this junk hurts. Yeah, so. Well. Karma, I guess, for pranking me. So. Let's get started. I have some pretty juicy questions for okay. you. We <clears throat> start off a little, like, a little easy, but towards okay. the end, <laughs> there's really juicy ones. Really quick, I just want to say, disclaimer, this is, like, my opinions. Yeah. I'm not speaking for all men, but I know there's probably a lot of guys who feel the same way. So just keep that in mind. First question, do guys like when girls make the first move? I actually am really glad somebody asked this question because my personal opinion, I think that's legit. As a guy, obviously we have zero problems making moves. Well, at least my own personal experience, but every now and then it's kind of refreshing when a girl decides to be like, you know what? I want to show some interest. I'm going to make a move. Sometimes that can be really hot. Yeah, you love that. I do. I think it's cool. For me, it's some kind of validation. Like, okay, yes, yeah, like she's actually into me. Plus, guys are really bad sometimes at picking up on hints. So <laughs> sometimes it helps when a girl's just like, yo, I'm into you. You know? Yeah. That's my two cents. Some guys, though, I feel like love the chase. That's true. I feel like that's kind of like a more immature type of thing. Would you agree? And so I feel yeah. like you probably liked that earlier on, but then later, like when I met you, you probably would have loved if I made the first yeah. one, but I didn't. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, you didn't. Not at all. But you would have loved that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think obviously, like I said, it depends on the guy. I don't like to play games very much. So if a girl knows, she knows, let me know. Next question. Why are guys afraid of commitment? And why are guys afraid of saying, I love you first? Yo. <laughs> This is deep. We need to get like Dr. Phil in here or something. <laughs> no, I don't we, have really we got Dr. This. Rob in here. This is a two part question. Why are guys afraid of commitment? To be honest, I could ask that with the question back like, why are girls afraid of commitment? Because I feel like there's a lot of guys who are just as ready for commitment as there are girls. But I feel like the girls, and I don't mean this as a diss to whoever asked this question because this is a valid question. But I feel like a lot of the times when I see girls asking questions like this, it is because they're going after the guys that they shouldn't be going after. Like Yo. the nice guys are the ones who are down and ready for your commitment and ready to treat you well, but the girls don't seem to love the nice guys and end up asking questions like this because they're going after the wrong guys. That's my opinion. This, that's a good answer. That's, I would agree with that. That's my opinion. If you think all guys are afraid of commitment, you're going after the wrong guy. Exactly. Because there, there is a guy yes. out there for you that is willing to say, I love you back. That is willing to give you the commitment and that is willing to show you that he's into you and like be all in it with you. 
That's my answer. Guys, this is like, you guys there, should be paying us for this. Is there it's a like, mic that I can drop really quick? This is like or? some deep therapy. <laughs> okay, and then why are guys- I'm proud of myself for answering that that quick. That was Sorry, so good. But that's how I feel. No, that was really, really good. So, why are guys then afraid to say I love you first? I would say that there are a lot of guys who won't admit that they're afraid of getting hurt. Mmm. You know, because you have this big thing where we're supposed to be big, masculine, and like, we don't show emotion, we're always tough, but in reality, when you get your heart broken because you put your feelings out there first, like, that sucks really bad. I'm the kind of guy who, like, wears my heart on my sleeve. If I like you, I'll tell you. Yeah, you said I love you to me, like, I think after, like, a week or something. It was, like, two weeks. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, we started dating a week after we met, and then you said I love you a week after when that. When you know, you know, guys. Yes. True love. But that's my answer. Good answer. I like that. So, next question. Ooh, that was a doozy. I know. Okay. <laughs> that was good though. You did so good. Okay. What do guys think about periods? <laughs> I don't know. This, it's <laughs> weird. I mean, here's the thing. There are so many guys out there who like just don't even fully understand periods in general. Like you, probably. <laughs> Just kidding. I took an anatomy and physiology okay. class in college for my major, multiple of those, and I still don't understand exactly what a period is and what it does. So here's the thing. <laughs> guys' views on periods is like, obviously everybody's different. It might gross some guys out. Like, I don't really get grossed out by it, but it's just like, for us, it's more of, I don't know. <laughs> my, my opinion on the period is, I'm gonna not do anything wrong. <laughs> Even though I know that I will, she'll get upset with me for something dumb, but I just have to try my best to not be mad back and not take offense to it because I know that she's on a period. And also, I feel for her. That's gotta suck. <laughs> like I said, I took all those classes. I still have no idea what it's like to be on a period. So for me, I'm just like, yikes. I'm glad I don't have to go through that. Let's try and get through this with the least amount of friction as possible. <laughs> but you're not grossed out by it. Me personally, no. Were you ever, like, when we first got married, were you grossed out by it or no? It just was always normal. I feel like even when we were dating, I would still tell you when I was on my period and stuff. Have That's you... the thing. Tip. Pro tip. Tell the guys when you're on your period so they know that you're not just, like, getting mad at them <laughs> for no reason whatsoever out of the blue. So you... It helps us understand a little bit, like, oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, I'll let this slide a little bit. So you don't care about the period itself. You no. more care about the emotions that come with it. That's me what, personally, like, that's, what affects that's the most. worst part about it for me. <laughs> because I can't do anything right when she's on her period, so. Oh I'm not that bad. <laughs> no, she's not, but sometimes. Um, <laughs> some guys I've heard, they're like, yo, that grosses me out. But, I mean, it is what it is. Okay, I like that. Okay, so follow-up kind of going along with that. Okay. Can you smell when a girl is on her period? No. I no? can't. Okay, that's interesting. I can't, and if I am smelling it, I have no idea that's what it is. That's interesting, because I feel like I can kind of smell it. Like, it's just like, kind of smells down there, and it has like a smell. And I always wondered if guys could smell that, but I guess you can't, so. Cool. That's a weird question. That's, <laughs> like, that's something I had no idea. Like, I just Well, think said, about it, like, there's so much blood coming out of you, of course it's gonna Well, smell. yeah, but at the same time, I also think that because it's happening to you, you're a lot more self-aware. Yeah. A lot of times, for example, when you have BO, sometimes <laughs> it might not be that bad to the point where like other people can smell it, but you know when you have it. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those things like, yeah, by the way. I'm good. No, no I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I personally have never... Smelled it? That you know of? Yeah. Or you that just I didn't know realize of. Yeah, or maybe really I didn't realize. So. Okay. That's good. Do you prefer girls with or without makeup? I would say there's a balance. I've never met a guy, at least in my circle of people, who is like, I love when a girl has so much makeup on that she breeds near you and you end up with makeup on your face. <laughs> I've never met a guy like that, ever. But I have met guys who are like, her makeup looks really natural, I really like how she's wearing that amount of makeup, and then I've also met guys who are like, bro, she don't need makeup at all. I feel like you tend to err on the side of I like, err less on the makeup. side of less makeup, You don't for like sure. a cake face. I do not, at all. I think she looks beautiful when she puts a lot of makeup on you. Like if we're going out and doing something really special and she wants to glam up, like by all means, girl, you do you. But at the same time, I just love the way she looks when it's just natural or 
very little makeup at all. That's my own personal opinion, like I said. I but, feel, but I feel like a lot of guys do. I would say women, you. for the general rule of thumb, err on the side of less than more. <laughs> less is more. <laughs> In this case, yes. Why do guys like to look at girls' butts? <laughs> Why do guys like the booty? <laughs> Um, why do girls like to look at guys' biceps? I mean, it's like, or abs. I don't love looking at, oh, abs. I, like I mean, abs. it's the same kind of thing. It's just like a feature on women that's just, you can see it, it's there, and it's something that can be very feminine. And so What's it like, can be attractive, I guess. What about it, though? Like, do you I don't like? know. When a girl's got like a nice butt that's like fit and it looks good, you appreciate it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You got a nice booty, and I appreciate it. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. It is what it is. All right. I like this question a lot. Okay, let's hear so, it. So, do guys care about stretch marks? I like this one a lot because I obviously have them. Yeah, I'm going to say, once again, this is me personally, and the people that I know personally, no. You don't care? No. Do I mean, Do you notice them? I mean, well, if they're on like your you body, like, yeah, yeah, you see them, and you notice them. Like, you have stretch marks. Yeah. But I don't care about them at all. If anything, to me, it's just a part of who you are and it's just the way your body is. And as you grow, so does your skin. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. And so it's just natural. You've never had a problem with them. You don't think they're gross or... No. Good. Not at all. I like that. Not and you all. would say most guys probably. I would say that. most guys probably think that as well. So don't be ashamed of them. Yay. It's natural. Cool. I like that. How do you feel when a guy checks out your girl when you're with her? This depends on the guy, 100%. If he's not secure with himself and his own relationship, he's probably going to be pissed. For me, I'm like, Liv, that guy was checking you out. Hardcore. And I tell her every single time. You always tell me. <laughs> because I think it's hilarious. Number one, because I've already won the battle. She's mine. So I don't care. For me, that's also another compliment to me, because it's like, yes, I know she is fine, and she's mine. So I just think it's funny, too, because a lot of times guys do weird things when they check girls out, make weird faces and stuff like that. So I always tell Olivia I think it's hilarious. Do guys know when girls are playing games with them? Yeah. Yeah? Us usually, yeah. I would say yeah. But here's the thing is, there's a lot of guys who wear their hearts on their sleeves and who will fall into the trap even if they know it's a game because they like you or they're into you and they're desperate for it, you know? And if you're doing that to a guy, that's mean. Don't do that. <laughs> it's the same if guys do it to girls. Like, don't do that. But do I feel like... you think there's some guys that don't realize? Or you think everyone kind of knows? I feel like it gets to a certain point that most guys, if it's happening to them, we know. Okay. You know? Yeah. But I don't love this because I hate games and usually I can tell like right away, I'll just be like, I'm done. Like yeah. this is stupid, which is what happened to me a lot while I was dating before I met Olivia, which is why when I met Olivia, I told her, I said, tell him this is how he asked me to be his girlfriend. I said, Hey, I don't like to play games. I like you. I'm pretty sure you like me. Do you want to date? And I said, sure. That's how you, <laughs> that's how you close the deal. Close the sale. Yes. But I don't know. I would say like 90% of the time the guys know, but then there are guys who just don't get it. So. <laughs> but you would say you know. I would definitely know. Do guys actually use the front pocket of their underwear to use the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I've always wondered this. If they Why does it have a pocket and do you actually use it? Um, you like slip your wiener through it or? <laughs> I mean, I've done it a couple times, but more as like a joke kind of thing. I think I'm just so used to when you go to the bathroom, you just like pull the front of your pants down. So I still do the same thing when I am wearing underwear. I don't really use I think it. it's kind of weird. I, to, I feel like that'd be weird to like maneuver that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't use that. Don't, I feel like it's more for breathability than anything. Oh, okay. I never thought of that. Do most guys just not use it? I say? would say, yeah, most guys don't use that. <laughs> In that way. Yeah. To go to the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> that's what I think. Okay. You can let me know if I'm wrong, but that's what I think. There you have it. <laughs> Next question. Do guys care if you have hair down there. Um, once again, this is one of those things where I would say err on the side of less <laughs> if you're going for a general rule. Most guys don't really care as long as it's groomed. 
Okay, so just like taken sense. care of. Yes. You don't want like a. If it's like wild and unruly, and you have like the Amazon downstairs, <laughs> then maybe change it up a little bit. But, but you don't need it to be like bare. I know there are guys out there who are like bare or or it's a no go. But I would say the majority of people are just like as long as it's well taken care of. Just be hygienic. Be hygienic. Take care That's of it, a good way to put and it. And then, okay. Yeah. Cool. So not you don't really care. Yeah. I already knew that, but <laughs> they didn't know that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So next question: Does body count matter? <laughs> I would say yeah. It matters. It does. So. Like if a girl's like, oh, I've slept with 400 guys. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna yeah, be like, I'd be like, no, sorry, I'm good. Especially for us. So if you guys didn't know, Robbie and I waited till marriage. Yeah, we did. So of course, like it's gonna matter to you. I feel like the majority of people in the world don't wait until marriage, right? That's like a decision that we had. So the majority of people in the world, majority of men, have their own number as well. So as long as the number is comparable to their own, like. No, it's not really going to matter. But if you're up there, you meet somebody and the conversation comes up and you're like, yeah, I've slept with like 35 people. And the guy would be like, whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah. I hold think on. It probably depends on the person, but it does, yeah. it does matter. No matter what, it matters. Yeah. But I the number is yes. going to be different. Probably. The number is going to be different for everybody. Okay. I like that. Does boob size matter? <laughs> This is one where I can't necessarily speak for the general population of men. For me personally, yeah, <laughs> it does. But I know there's a lot of guys who are like, I couldn't care less about boobs. It's more about the butt for me. For them, it wouldn't matter. But, but for you, it matters. For me, it matters. So are you a boob or a butt guy? I've I'm asked a, you this before. I'm a balanced guy. <laughs> I like the full figure. So yeah, explain what that means. Okay, yeah, let me be clear. <laughs> For me, I like there to be shape up top, and I like there to be shape up bottom. So you're both. Down, down low. Yeah, you're so both I'm, guy. I'm a, I'm a, a both. Cool. A balanced guy is how I like to say it. Okay, I like that. Okay, so this is the last question. All right. This one's really juicy. Okay. <laughs> I saved this one for last. Do guys actually like going down on girls? <laughs> Someone asked this. I would say, yeah. <laughs> Sounds convincing. I would say when it happens, the guy's in the mood to do it, so he's enjoying it. Okay, so you, you think guys... If it's happening, they don't mind. <laughs> or else they wouldn't do it, is that what you're saying? That's the way a guy's gonna look at <laughs> sex most of the time in general. He's not gonna want to do anything he doesn't want to do. Right. Okay, so if he's doing it, he's enjoying it. If he's doing it, he's most likely enjoying it. Okay. Wow. Or he really just enjoys the way you are reacting. Okay. <laughs> enough to do it. And there's probably guys out there who hate it. Oh, absolutely. So they're not gonna do yeah. it. Some girls don't like doing certain things. So there's like, guys who don't like doing certain things. We're not going to do it. So yeah, there's right. probably guys who don't like doing certain things, so they're not going to do it. So yeah, they would do it if they liked it. Or, like you said, they enjoy the reaction of the other person. Yeah. Okay. That's yep. a good answer. Yeah. All right, well, there you have it. Woo! Made it out alive. You made it out alive. You did so good. Thanks. I liked all your answers. I feel like they were good. All right, well, folks, there you have it. Thank you guys for sending in those questions. I thought this video was really fun. I, was actually I would really be down fun. to do another one just because I, I like grilling you. I was pretty nervous, but that actually wasn't too bad. So if you guys want to see another one, let us know. And just remember, guys, please like this video. It really helps us out with the algorithm. And make sure you subscribe to our channel if you're not already. Turn on post notifications. We really, really appreciate when you guys do that because it helps us out so much. Yeah, we love all the support from you guys. Make sure you comment with hashtag Team Olive and Rob to get featured in the next video. And until next time, we love you guys. Peace. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We can just laugh if you wanna. Lay nights on the stars if you wanna.